Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to use cheats for PCSX2. It's been a year since I made my video and there have been some changes, so I wanted to make a new one. The most important change is that in my previous video I used a nightly build, but now we have a stable build. Let me show you. As you can see, I'm using a stable build 2.0. Before doing anything, make sure you are using the same version too, latest stable version. Okay. And now we have to select the game. I'm going to select Tekken 4. In my previous video, I showcased Mortal Kombat. I'm choosing fighting games because they are easier to show without any tutorials or cutscenes. After you select your game, you need to know the region. If you don't know your game's region, right click on it and go to properties. And look at this section here, region. I'm using the American version, NTSC. There are two versions you can use. American or European Paul version make sure you know the region you are using okay it's important for using cheats okay now I'm closing this and we need to go to gamehacking.org from the menu here select Sony Select PlayStation 2. We are going to find Tekken. Tekken 4. As you can see, we have NTSC version and Paul version. It is important that you select the correct one. I'm using NTSC. In my previous video, back in the day, we had a view button here, but now it is gone, so we can see the cheats we have selected, but it's not a problem. So, when you open this page, there are two options for you. You can download every cheat here. You can download all of them. Or, you can select the checked and download the ones you want for example this four now let's select some cheats let's select one hit that 75 percent health hit anywhere infinite health and let's select the cheat that requires a button command press l1 plus l2 for death below on player 2 okay Now that I've selected my cheats, I'm going to download them. But before downloading, make sure you come here, the section that says Format. Click on it and select PCSX2. Download the file. And now we have our cheats here. But before we can use them, we need to change the file's name. Go to your game, right click, select properties, and find the CRC code. As you can see, CRC. Copy this and change the name of the cheats. See, it is now CRC code. 
Okay, now go to folder of your PCSX2 and find the cheats folder. In my previous video, a lot of people commented that they don't have a cheats folder. It's no problem, you can create it yourself manually. Just create a new folder and name it cheats. Okay, it's that simple. Go to your cheats folder and drag on drop our cheats. Okay, now we are ready. Let's start our game. Now I'm going to pause the game. Go back to your game, go to your properties again, and this time, from this section, choose Cheats. As you can see, we can't use any of the Cheats. In order to use Cheats, you have to click on this box that says Enable Cheats. And now, we can use any Cheat we want. Okay. There are two types of cheats when using, ones that are automatic and ones that require button commands. I'm going to show both of them. For example, let's select infinite health, it is automatic, and 75% health on player 2. And let's select a cheat that requires a button command. For example, I need to press L1 plus L2 for death blow. Okay, we have selected three cheats. Now, let's go back to our game. Welcome to the King of Iron King. Round one. Fight. As you can see, the Lee has 75% health. Our cheat is working. And let's see our infinite health cheat is working. As you can see, I'm getting damage. My health stays still. Now, let's try our cheat that requires a button command. Remember that I have to press. L1 and L2 at the same time. Perfect. As you can see, I pressed the buttons and the Lee immediately collapsed. You win. Round 2. Fight. Let's pause the game again. You can enable or disable these cheats at any time. Let's go back to our game again. Go to cheats. Let's say that you wanted to cheese only for one part of the game and now you don't want to use them. Go here and just disable them. It's that simple. You can click them one by one or completely disable all of them. Now, some cheats may require a level restart or checkpoint restart in order to work. For example, now, right now we have selected 75% health on uh, player 2. If I select one hit that, it's probably not going to work. Let's test it. Yeah! I can kill the Lee in one hit. Perfect. You win. And now look at Yoshimitsu. I need to hit him only once. Fight. 
That's when using cheats, you may need to restart from the checkpoint. Okay, that's all I wanted to show. Like I said, you can enable them or disable them while in game or out of the game, as you can see, like this. I hope the video helps. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. By the way, this is my first time recording a video with a microphone, so I apologize for the audio quality. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching and goodbye.